G'day viewers, well this is out of um, Panasonic DVD VCR combo. The unit was manufactured on 1st of July 2005. Had a bit of, got a little bit angry with it. The VCR on it works great, I use it nearly all the time. For skipping through tapes and finding historic like old commercials and stuff. I rip, use it to um, rip tapes in the computer. But uh, the DVD player, I only got a couple of years out of it. One of these chips, the defect, although it seems like it's a dirty laser, but it's actually not. The defect is hardwired into one of these chips. I had a bit of a crack at it with a screwdriver, got really angry with it and just stuck it between two of the chips here and twisted it. Just snapped one of the main chips off here. But that's the actual DVD player processor board there. Bloody small. The actual fault, they would skip chapters. I've got to press play and it will just eject the door instead of play. I've got to reset the unit, close the door, and it will just eject. And the motor will stay energised and just keep bloody working hard pushing this door out. I found there's an actual fault in these chips, so the hardwire these not to last long. The bastards. It's conspiracy theory. One of the chips in here is hardwired to, uh, to play the DVD so many times, then the DVD player just locks up and does all these stupid things to you. Because the picture also distorted and pixelated and everything. So, it's bloody technology to make them not the last on purpose. And this is a bloody decent uh, Japanese made bloody Panasonic unit as well. Let's put the Variac on these motors. These are just normal DC motors here. No um, stepper motors here. So let's put the Variac on it and make them pop. Okay, the also had to find that bloody rectifier because I had that packed away and I forgot where I put it. I basically took the cord off that when I got this UPS transformer. The cord off the rectifier is on this, so I found this toaster cord on the um, capacitor popping jig I made. And what I've done, soldered some leads to that bloody circuit board because the blobs, the blobs are sort of aren't big enough for these uh, alligator clips to clip onto. All right, let's turn it for fair X and zero. Power on. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's it. You're dead. All right, power off. Unplug safety first. Let's try another motor. If it wasn't the um the laser uh laser arm there, the matter that advances the laser across the uh to reach the disc, fair action zero, power on. Oh, huh. the eject motor. Okay, that was the wrong motor. Didn't even smoke the belt. Yep, it's open circuit. There, X and zero. Unplug safety first. Let's try another motor. Mm, doesn't sound too good. Oh, I still hear the brushes so I'm in contact with the commutator, so I might get something more out of it. There, X and zero. Yeah, definitely dead. All right. Oh, no, okay, viewers, I just realised something. There's like a little gear thing on here. That motor that ejects the door, somehow, I'm not sure how it works, it's got like a couple on here that drives the um, laser guide as well. Interesting. And a light on. It's got like another extra gear on there. Which the laser seems to be bloody stuck. No, I can't move it. It seems to be stuck. You can hear it skipping teeth there. Which is always noise, all you hear is just some dry gear noise sort of time. It was a very noisy uh, mechanism when it, when it was working. I'm gonna pop another motor now. This is a T1 
Tiak VCR transport type transport mechanism. There's a motor there that does the ejecting and everything. It's a very, very cheaply built motor too, so very cheaply made. Very action zero. Power on. Oh, poor 16 amps. Clunk, there you go, zero. Unplug, safety first. That pushed hard. Definitely going to be dead. Let's give it a little bit of a tease. There you go, zero. Uh -huh, the VRX turned up to about 60 volts. Yep. No contact left. Just completely dead. Let's try something else. Unplug. Safety first. Okay, there was another crappy Black & Decker Jewel from Bunnings. The battery died on this one. Let's finish it off. So we got a battery indicator on here. And the hammer drill also, function also died. It's a fairly big motor on this one, but uh, let's give it a pop. So this might be inter interesting. Fair and zero. Power on. Nothing. Not pulling anything. Bad connection. Power off, unplug safety first. Let's plug those connections in there. Try again. Nah. Indestructible Chinese motor, a voltage checker. So very carefully pop this. That. 20 volts. 80 volts. Safety first. Plug, safety first, rectify check. Warm, but not dangerously warm. Yep, she's smoking. High current winding, so heavy, heavy duty motor for a high air power battery, that's why it's taken that to destroy. Yeah, just damage the brushes and the commutator there. Slowly, slowly overheating it with too much current. Dead short. <laughs> oh, I popped it. Just turn that off and give it a turn. Might overcome a dead spot. Right, very excellent zero. Oh, I popped it.
Thank you. All right. Unplug safety first. All right. Yeah, not too. Oh, a bit hot there. Oh, that's enough. Give that a rest. Starting to get hot now. That the fire. I don't want to destroy that. Hmm, it smells. All right. I'll do an autopsy in the next video. I'm going to be working tomorrow, so next video I get, I'll leave this intact until uh, I get a chance and I'll do an autopsy on it. There's already bits and pieces of the brush falling out of it already. Epic, as epic as a firestorm that it was. Thanks for watching.